Today is National Family Volunteer Day. It's not an officially recognized holiday, but it was a reason for some folks to spend the day helping those less fortunate. Peg Rasconi found some kids who were more than happy to join in that effort. It has to work because it's no fun to be all frustrated trying to get it to work. 11-year-old Emma Hitch is making sure these donated toys are good enough to be given to other kids. It feels good because I know that we're helping children who are not as fortunate as us. Family Volunteer Day found the Hitch Clan at this Cradles to Crayons drive. If I can bring all four of my kids down yeah. and show them what community service is all about. Um, my wife is running a drive right now with other people in Wellesley. Right in the middle, right just as long as it's straight, as close as you can. Volunteers cut donated fleece to be stitched into baby blankets. They sorted shoes, cleaned sand toys, and polished matchbox cars. I cleaned this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this and that. A little bit about Cradles to Crayon. It's an organization that collects children's items, everything from snowsuits to clothing to books and toys and birthday items. They're cleaned and sorted in this warehouse and then sent out to kids who need them. The agency responds to requests from social workers for specific children. A typical order will include a week's worth of clothing, seven pack of books, and um, often a toy. Cradles to Crayons serves about 400 children each week. This weekend, other kids helped make that possible. In Quincy, Peg Rosconi, CBS 4 News. Now, volunteering is needed year-round, but especially during the holidays. If you'd like to learn how you and your family can contribute, just log on to our website at cbs4boston.com.